Hello, good evening everyone. Can anyone please confirm in the chat box if I'm audible? Is my screen visible to you all? Waiting for the yes messages in the chat box, if I'm audible. One second, let me see. Chat box, yes. Visible and audible, okay. So, welcome to the day three of uh, motor session. I am Yogesh Lakwani, the faculty for today and uh, my subject as you all know by now is motor wound damage, specifically the claims part. I hope uh, like the previous sessions were valuable to you and you could practice those questions which we discussed in the previous two sessions and by now probably you are at a better stage than what it was prior to the sessions I believe. So uh, we have one minute more to start. Before that, uh, if you want me to cover any specific thing, any specific topic, you can just ping it in the chat, chat box. We will start in next one minute. By For the next one minute, I can have a look at the chat box if you are having any specific query where you are stuck of whatever we discussed in the past two sessions so that you know I can revisit it, revise it today. And don't worry, last session was <laughs> 1 hour 20 minutes, so today it will not be lot that longer session. I received so many feedback that the session was good, but it was uh, quite a longer session. So we will be restricting today's session to maximum 60 minutes. Uh, we will divide it into two parts. First part will be the 45 minutes of the concepts and numericals that you will be doing today. And the sec last 15 minutes will be giving dedicatedly to the questions that you would have posted in the Excel file that was shared. So I think it's the time we should start not able to find any new query in the chat box. So let's begin today's session with the disclaimer that this video is for educational purpose only and the views expressed on this video are mine alone and do not necessarily reflect the views of my employer or the organization. So a quick revision of what we did on day one and day two we took some memory based questions from the tariff and mv act and we discussed some important topics like tl ctl idv depreciation ncb and uh, we discussed idv table that is gr8 and depreciation table gr9 we did some numericals on idv and partial loss claims and uh, we did studied about the compulsory excess part the gr40 which is also known as IMT22 when we apply it in the policy. So today what we will be doing is we will be covering the commercial claims part, we will be covering IMT21, we will be covering IMT23 which is uh, which you know the people who are not working in motor find it bit difficult. So we will try to cover those things today. I hope my voice is audible, can anyone confirm? before we start with today's session a background in background there is some noise in the background okay okay let me check my audio connection one second allow me a moment is it very noisy is it disturbing I think yes there is some noise but we can I don't know one second no I think it is very less and we can work with this fair enough because if I tweak it now then this thing might go off so better we continue with the same it's good okay thank you so let's proceed 
again we are revisiting the depreciation on table uh, the depreciation on parts table because it will be very useful for today's questions so let's have a look once again all the rubber nylon plastic parts are tube and batteries and airbags and paint materials straight flat 50 percent depreciation thousand rupees ka part hai deduct 50 percent 500 rupees we will pay as simple as that next is fiberglass components flat 30 percent depreciation glass nil depreciation will be again the front windshield glass the door glasses the rear windshield glass all these will be considered considered as a glass parts okay coming to the depreciation table gr gr9 yes so this is the age wise depreciation that we did uh, on uh, in our last session also so we are going quickly through it once again so that we can do questions for today also so i will quickly revise it not exceeding 6 months it will be nil then 5 10 15 then a break 25 35 then again a break then 40 50 okay the area where there is a chance to make mistake is exceeding 5 years but not exceeding 10 years okay so let me take out my pen one second let's check if it is working yes it is working so the area where most of the people make mistake is this 50 percent depreciation is for the vehicles which are exceeding 10 years okay most of the time we apply 50 percent either here or here so you have to be careful okay let's go to the compulsory excess gr 40 second part yesterday what we did was only up to the private car point okay uh, okay one second yes what we studied that day was private car up to 1500 cc 1000 rupees and private car exceeding 1500 cc 2000 rupees today there are two new compulsory access which we have introduced one is for taxi taxis and three wheelers up to 1500 cc the access will be 500 rupees which is exactly half of what it is for private car so if i want to simplify it if i am driving a private number plate swift car the excess will be 1000 rupees and if I am driving a taxi number plate swift car the excess will be half of that that is 500 rupees yes it is opposite for taxi the excess is less for private car the excess is more one second there is some issue with the chat box yes try to mic off and on again okay I don't you know want to experiment it at this stage please bear with me today i will certainly have a look at it in the next session next is passenger carrying vehicles exceeding 17 now this is really important yesterday what we did we did goods carrying goods carrying less than 7500 the access was 500 rupees so today passenger exceeding passenger carry vehicle not exceeding 17 means small buses small uh, passenger carrying vehicles not exceeding 17 seating capacity the excess is 500 rupees passenger carrying vehicles 18 to 36 thousand rupees and passenger carrying vehicle exceeding 36 passengers 1500 rupees okay three slabs we will be doing for small vehicles small buses 500 for medium buses thousand rupees and for big buses 1500 rupees clear any doubt any question up to this point it is disturbing okay let me have a check once again so you will have to bear with me for next two minutes till the time i get rid of this particular issue is it fine now Is it fine? Is it working now? I think the noise is still there. Can anyone confirm in the chat box if it is good to go? Same, okay. 
so what do we do about it mm. okay let me try to change the microphone can anyone check and confirm if it is working now now the noise is gone okay 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 fair enough let's go with this okay so access part is clear gr40 is clear right so let's proceed IMT twenty one, IMT twenty three. Okay, so we all sometimes get confused. What is IMT twenty one? What is IMT twenty three? Let's get rid of this particular fear today. So IMT twenty one is generally the exclusion of some parts in a commercial vehicle. Okay, what are these parts? It is suppose when a we will have to assume a vehicle in first of all, so that we can visualize what we are talking about. let us assume a bus a big bus and uh, there are bumpers lamps tires and tubes everything fitted on that bus so imt 23 says the commercial vehicle policy with imt 20 21 will exclude the damages to bumpers lamps tires tubes mud guard bonnet side parts and paint work okay all these will be excluded excluded means if there is a damage to the bumper and headlamp for example if in a claim there is a damage to the bumper and headlamp then we will not pay for these parts okay and this particular imt is not applicable on car taxi and bike taxi so how do we cover this then we will have to cover this using imt 23 IMT twenty three is the inclusion of all these parts. IMT twenty three says, okay, I will include all these parts, subject to you pay me additional premium, and I will not be covering it fully. Despite you pay the additional premium, I will not be covering it fully. I will be only paying the fifty percent of the assessed loss. Okay, fifty percent of the assessment for the above parts. Clear. so i think in the chat box we are getting some amount so please uh, do not uh, try to press the money button do not pay anything these lectures are free so you need not pay anything please try avoiding those options which says pay something okay so now let's go to the questions because we understand these things best from the questions we will come back to the slide once again i am to 21 23 to rediscuss but for now let's start doing the questions so this is the first question for today's session audio low i don't know what is wrong i can only suggest increasing the volume of your headphone i will try to speak a little louder so that you can hear this okay let's try focusing on the question solving so sir maruti wagner taxi all the steps are same like it was in the last session you will have only one clarification that you will require any can anyone confirm in the chat box whether radiator is a plastic metal rubber what do we take radiator as because bumper i believe you all are clear it is a plastic part radiator will be what can anyone confirm in the chat box those at least who are working in the claims department or do we take radiator when we solve questions if possible i will try to show you how our radiator looks like 
and what is it made up of i think most of you are busy solving questions yes we re take radiator as plastic part correct shubhankar shah ji i got your message it is plastic yes condenser i think we discussed this part in the last session we take it as metal now i want you all to solve this for me if you are sitting without a notepad a pen and a calculator it will be really tough for you so whenever there is a metal part we have to calculate the age of the vehicle so let's start with calculating the age of the vehicle january 2020 to january 21 then 22 23 24 okay so the policy period will be january 23 to january 24 correct because this is accident is happening in the may 2023 it will be falling within this period if i am not wrong so considering the percentage 5 10 15 25 percent okay so the metal depreciation will be 25 percent going ahead with the question excess i will come to this in the last because this is the catch in the question so plastic there are two pa plastic parts 2000 rupees and 5000 rupees 7000 apply 50 percent depreciation on 7000 because plastic part fetches 50 percent depreciation so for plastic it will be 3500 metal part condenser it is 10000 rupees apply 25% depreciation it will be 7500 then labor no depreciation directly 2000 rupees painting 12.5% depreciation so 4000 minus let me write it down 4000 minus 12.5% depreciation it will be 3500 let's add it up 005 plus 5 plus 5 15 okay 7 plus 3 10 Ten plus one eleven, eleven plus five sixteen, sixteen thousand five hundred. Okay, so how many people have answered sixteen thousand five hundred? Nobody. Yes, good. So we'll have to deduct excess. Now here is the catch, because it is a taxi. Excess will be five hundred rupees and not thousand rupees. Okay. So the answer will be. Sixteen thousand rupees. Simple question. So many of you will answer fifteen thousand five hundred. Yes, it is going to happen because you are doing this question for the first time. So point number one and the most important point is read the question very carefully. Okay, this kind of questions are very common in exams. Taxis, word, cabs, taxis, Uber, Ola, uh, taxi aggregator. Any word can come like this. so you have to be careful with the excess part so the answer of this question will be 16000 rupees okay good so let's proceed with the next question now while answering this question i request you write q2 a q2 b q2 c and q2 d looks like a similar question be careful so now uh, we you know we have raised the level a little bit higher because now you are already conversant with the topic you already know the basic questions so today's questions will be a little level higher that will this will be good for you from examination point one minute 
you have got one minute to solve this question no confusing part like metal or something both the parts you know okay for the sake of the benefit of the class because you don't know in aisha truck a bumper is a plastic or metal for the sake of today's session let us take it as a metal bumper generally in commercial vehicles the bumper are of metal in trucks the metal bumpers are fitted because plastic bumper will not be able to or it stand the damages because these vehicles are mostly on highways big heavy vehicles so for the sake of question take it as a metal okay 2d 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 okay many of you are answering as d very good so you have got it right there is no use of bumper in this question so before calculating age i will have to check any metal parts yes there is a metal part but even before going ahead with the age calculation you have to check what all imts are applied in the policy okay so there are three imts imt 7 imt 20 and imt 21 what we are looking for here is imt 21 imt 21 is exclusion of bumper so this is of no use and exclusion of headlamp so these two parts are of no use to us in this question correct so only part only thing which is payable is this cabin repair labor okay so we will directly take labor is equals to 10000 and directly we will take the excess for 18000 kg the excess will be 1500 rupees if you remember in the second session we did it is more than 16500 gvw so the excess will be 1500 rupees so the straight answer is 8500 rupees now this is a type of question which will waste lot of your valuable time in the exam okay but if you catch it right you will solve this question in 10 seconds and you will go to the next question so these kind of questions are also very famous in for the exam so you have to look for the imts okay i think most of you have answered it correctly and got this question correctly mm -hmm. now let's proceed with the third question of the day please answer as 3a 3b 3c and 3d i'll be waiting for your answers in the chat box lot of imts are there those who have not seen day 2 or day 1 session probably will have some difficulty in today's session don't worry about it just try to focus on the question okay please answer is 3a 3b 3c and 3d this is a time consuming question take your time and solve this even i am not sure whether i have put the right options in the chat box if was if you are getting in the any answer which is not there in the options you can write it in the chat box that is also okay but solve this waiting for the one answer i don't mind if it is correct or incorrect then we will start okay we have got one answer fair enough let's start so first things first let us see check whether there are any metal parts no rh mirror plastic rh headlamp plastic cabin repair labor is just a labor so no metal parts no need for calculating age of the vehicle half things done check the imts 
आई एम टी सेवन ट्वेंटी ट्वेंटी वन ट्वेंटी टू ट्वेंटी थ्री ओके ट्वेंटी वन एंड ट्वेंटी थ्री बोथ द एम टीज आर प्रेजेंट सो ट्वेंटी थ्री से इज आई विल इंक्लूड्स द पार्ट विच आर एक्सक्लूडेड बाई ट्वेंटी वन सो विल पे फॉर द पार्ट्स ओके दीज आर एम टी ट्वेंटी थ्री पार्ट्स सो जस्ट फॉर द सेक ऑफ क्लास रेडमी राइट ट्वेंटी थ्री पी ट्वेंटी थ्री दिस इज ऑल्सो आई एम टी ट्वेंटी थ्री पार्ट सो आई विल राइट ट्वेंटी थ्री इट इज ऑल्सो ट्वेंटी थ्री बोथ द पार्ट्स आर एम टी ट्वेंटी थ्री पार्ट्स ओके लेट्स डिसाइड द एक्सेस फर्स्ट एंड देन आई विल टेल यू हाउ टू गेट द आंसर फॉर ट्वेंटी थ्री पार्ट्स एक्सेस विल बी वन थाउजेंड रुपीज दिस वहीकल इज बिटवीन सेवन थाउजेंड फाइव हंड्रेड एंड सिक्सटीन थाउजेंड फाइव हंड्रेड जी बी डब्ल्यू ट्राई टू रिकॉल द लोएस्ट वहीकल द लाइटेस्ट वहीकल हैज़ फाइव हंड्रेड रुपीज ऑफ एक्सेस देन वन थाउजेंड देन वन थाउजेंड फाइव हंड्रेड इट इज लेस देन सिक्सटीन थाउजेंड फाइव हंड्रेड सो द एक्सेस विल बी वन थाउजेंड रुपीज ओके नाउ स्टॉप सॉल्विंग द क्वेश्चन इफ यू आर डूइंग इट जस्ट ट्राई एंड फोकस ऑन द स्क्रीन डोंट ट्राई टू सॉल्व द क्वेश्चन नाउ सो वी आर कैलकुलेटिंग द आफ्टर डेप्रिसिएशन आफ्टर आई एम थ्री थ्री ट्वेंटी थ्री वैल्यू फॉर द पार्ट्स विच आर देर इन द क्वेश्चन ओके सो वी आर राइटिंग पी ट्वेंटी थ्री पार्ट्स मीन्स प्लास्टिक पार्ट्स विच आर फॉलिंग अंडर आई एम टी ट्वेंटी थ्री सो देर आर टू पार्ट्स टेन थाउजेंड रुपीज एंड एट थाउजेंड रुपीज सो द टोटल ऑफ दिस पार्ट्स इज फर्स्ट स्टेप वी अप्लाई नॉर्मल डेप्रिसिएशन नॉर्मल डेप्रिसिएशन ऑन प्लास्टिक पार्ट इज फिफ्टी परसेंट सो नाइन थाउजेंड इज द वैल्यू नाउ नेक्स्ट स्टेप आई एम टी ट्वेंटी थ्री डेप्रिसिएशन डिडक्शन सॉरी सो आई एम टी ट्वेंटी थ्री से इज ओके आई विल पे फॉर द पार्ट बट ओनली अप टू फिफ्टी परसेंट Fifty percent of the assessed loss will be borne by insurance company, and fifty percent of the assessed loss will be borne by the insured, that is the customer. Okay, so for this part, how much we will pay? We will pay half of nine thousand, that is four thousand five hundred. So this is the final value for IMT twenty three part. Okay, I will repeat it once again. The total is eighteen thousand rupees. First, we apply depreciation. then we apply 23 deduction okay there will be some queries there will be some issues yes but you'll have to re have a re look at this videos to understand this now the question becomes very simple we just add the labor 10000 rupees as it is no depreciation let's add it up it will be 14500 deduct the excess 1000 rupees and you get the answer as 13500 rupees okay please understand we are trying to learn the concept we are not trying to find the correct answer here the main aim is to learn the concept okay even if your answer is incorrect that is a good thing because now you know how to make a mistake and you will not make the same mistake at least in the exam clear so let's go back to the slide of imt 23 for a minute to have a relook at the concept imt 21 says i will not pay for i will exclude what all parts bumpers front bumper or rear bumper i will exclude all the lamps headlamps tail lamps indicators all types of lamps which are fitted on the external side of the vehicle okay i will exclude tires and tubes i will exclude the mud guard i will exclude the bonnet side parts now these some this is sometime also written like this bonnet oblique side parts don't get confused in exam you will get either bonnet or side parts side parts are nowadays not available in the vehicles okay and most important thing paint work now this paint work wala question will not come in at least 2 to 3 or 1 to 2 Yes, three to four and four to five. There is a chance, but let us not talk about it today. Otherwise, it will become a complete mess to understand this. Okay. It is not applicable on car taxi and bike taxi. Do understand? Okay. Do not try to apply this logic on a car taxi. Car taxi means the first example which we took. I hope it is clear. 
Yes, I can see a message in the chat box. Ritesh Sinha says 25% for MQ23 parts here. Yes. If it is a plastic parts, yes, you can directly say, okay, let me go to the question. So I have done 50% twice. It means I have done 25%. This is what you are saying, correct? So if all the parts are plastic parts, yes, this concept will work. You can directly apply 25% dip, uh, reduction plus depreciation and you can get the value after 23. But if it is a metal part, you will have to apply the depreciation and then deduction. Please listen to these words carefully, depreciation and deduction. Okay. So sometimes we get confused whether to apply depreciation first or whether to apply deduction first. It doesn't matter. If you apply it in any order, you will get the same answer. Okay, even if you apply the deduction first and then depreciation, you will get the same answer. So no problem with that. So with this, let's do question number four, which will help you to apply all the logics that you have learned up to this point. I will be staying quiet until I get the first answer. This is a question of level scale 3 to scale 4. So don't be afraid when I am, you know, saying this. Please answer as 4A, 4B, 4C, 4D. of metal and plastic parts commonly used in okay okay madam waiting for the first answer wonderful got the first answer in the chat box so let's start solving this thing so we have got a metallic part it is very clearly written metallic bumper sometimes the examiner will be little good with you he will give you the metallurgy of the part it is a right headlamp plastic part and then the denting labor good no painting correct so metallic part says you will have to calculate the age but let us check whether we have got this part covered yes imt 23 is there in the question so this part is covered right so let's calculate the age of the vehicle it's september 2018 so i will write september 18 to september 19 then 20 21 22 okay september 22 yes september 21 to september 22 correct so again 5 10 15 25 percent okay good to go 25 percent depreciation on metallic part so this is M23 because it is a IMD23 part and this is P23 plastic and IMT23. Let's go to the excess. Seating capacity is 14. It is the least. The lowest bracket was of vehicles which are less than 17 seaters. So the excess will be 500 rupees. Okay. Let's start solving this question. Let's calculate for the metallic bumper. So the age depreciation is 25 percent. Right. 4000 less 25 percent will be 3000 
now apply 50% deduction of IMT 23 it will become 1500 correct see 25% depreciation for AH and 50% deduction for IMT 23 now P3 8000 rupees is the part cost plastic depreciation 50 percent and then deduction of 50 percent will make it 2000 rupees then labor no depreciation directly 10,000 okay anything else that we need to add no so let's add it 3500 10,000 so it will be 13,000 500 okay less 500 rupees excess so it will be 13,000 rupees clear so the answer will be C 13,000 see many people have got different answers correct so this is how this question is all see the calculation part if you do it step by step it will be very simple very easy but if you you know try to experiment it or if you try to uh, get confused by reading the question see questions will be this much big i have simplified it the data i have simplified it question will be like this mr rakesh has got a truck he is driving it on a mumbai pune express highway and the policy is issued with this imts and the date of registration is this date of accident is this the question will look this big but you will have to pull out the data which is available on the screen okay when you see a question take a pen and a paper and try to write it down like the way it is written on the screen the only reason i have written it on the screen is so that you can note all these things when you see a question and you can avoid unnecessary data which is given there okay to confuse you so this will give you the clarity of the steps and then you follow it as it is there is no way that you will get the wrong answer okay now some questions will be there in everybody's mind so let me you know answer these imts quickly just for the sake of understanding imt7 is for just listen to it because you will have to read it again to remember imt7 is hypothecation okay imt20 is tppd limit of 6000 rupees third party cover okay not applicable in od imt21 is exclusion of parts it is a default imt sometimes questions like this are also asked which of the following is the default imt in a commercial vehicle policy imt20 imt21 imt22 imt23 so the answer will be imt21 it is the default imt it will come by default in the policy there is no way you can you know remove this imt from the policy try to see a policy in your office of a commercial vehicle you will find this imt 100 percent okay next is 23 we include this by charging extra premium imt 24 imt 24 i am not able to recall i will get back to you on this and imt 39 is third party cover to the uh, workers of the commercial vehicle it can be a cleaner it can be a conductor like this okay mt24 i'm not able to recollect immediately i think it is exclusion of electrical and non-electrical parts electric and non-electric accessories but let me be 100 percent confident on this and then i can reconfirm this to you to the best of my knowledge it is accessories can anyone confirm if in the chat box whether IMT 23 is for accessories only yes out of course question but if you know you can confirm it in the chat box so we will be double sure what I am saying is right okay so there is one question I am RH mirror is not there in IMT 21 list okay let's have a check bumpers headlamps steel lamps mudguards owner side parts and yes yes you are correct imt 21 is not covering mirror parts so let us mark this question once again okay 
and uh, what we can do is we can redo it at the end of the session sorry it is my mistake that i have taken it as a 23 part so if we don't take it let's try to solve this once again we will apply normal depreciation on plastic once again but tell me one thing 21 23 okay let's solve this once again sorry for the mistake so this, it will be considered as a normal mirror thank you for highlighting this so for mirror only standard depreciation of 50 percent for headlamp it will be 8000 ka 25 percent that will be 2000 rupees for labor this will be 10,000 rupees let's add it up it is 17,000 less 1000 rupees excess and it is the answer will be 16,000 rupees okay is it correct now can anyone confirm in the chat box three parts three things are there mirror headlamp and labor while tweaking with this question i wanted to keep it as a 23 part so i have done the mistake earlier front bumper was written so that is the reason i made the mistake sorry for that is it clear now mr vishal yes okay thank you i hope you all will forgive me for this so let's go to question number five A very simple question so this is the advantage of the live class suppose even if I am making a mistake you can tell me okay this is where I am going wrong and we can correct it right away simple question easy numbers easy to calculate yes for 24 it is confirmed that it is electrical and electronic accessories thank you so empty 24 is clarified yes let's start solving this question honda activa two-wheeler okay headlight it is a plastic part metal panel the name says it all it is a metallic part labor and salvage okay so any need of calculating metal depreciation yes so it is 2015 and this is 2022 so whenever there is more than five years gap you need not write all the years you can directly write the depreciation for exceeding five years but not exceeding 10 years for the sake of the class let me write it down 0 to 1 1 to 2 2 to 3 3 to 4 4 to 5 5 to 10 and more than 10 and the depreciation is like this 5% 10 15 25 35 and for this particular bracket it will be 40 percent depreciation on metal okay so plastic 50 percent now i will directly write the after depreciation value 2000 less 50 percent will be 1000 rupees metallic 1000 rupees less 40 percent depreciation is 600 rupees 
लेबर फाइव हंड्रेड रुपीज सैलवेज ओके लेट्स एड इट फर्स्ट वॉट विल बी द एक्सेस एक्सेस इज सिंपल फ्लैट हंड्रेड रुपीज सो लेट्स एड इट अप इट विल बी टू वन जीरो जीरो लेस सैलवेज लेस एक्सेस सो द आंसर इज एटीन हंड्रेड सो ऑल ऑफ यू से एटीन हंड्रेड नो द आंसर इज नॉट एटीन हंड्रेड एनी वन हु सेज द आंसर इज ए सो द मोमेंट यू गेट एटीन हंड्रेड येस आई हैव गॉट द आंसर यू टेक एटीन हंड्रेड एन यू गो हेड नाउ रीड द लास्ट लाइन केयरफुली द क्वेश्चन इज आस्किंग अबाउट इंश्योर्ड शेयर ओके हु इज इंश्योर्ड इंश्योर्ड इज कस्टमर सो हाउ डू यू फाइंड इंश्योर्ड शेयर यू विल हैव टू चेक देर आर टू वेज टू डू इट आई विल टेल यू द सिंपलर वन यू हैव टू जस्ट एड अप ऑल द पार्ट विच आर देर इन द बिल सो हेड लैम टू थाउजेंड सो नाउ वॉट वी आर डूइंग इज वी आर ट्राइंग टू फाइंड द बिल अमाउंट ओके सो फॉर हेड लैम द बिल विल बी टू थाउजेंड रुपीज फॉर पैनल मेटल पैनल द बिल विल बी वन थाउजेंड रुपीज फाइव हंड्रेड रुपीज विल बी लेबर सैलवेज नो वी डोंट एड दिस इन द बिल सो द बिल अमाउंट विल बी थ्री थाउजेंड फाइव हंड्रेड रुपीज आउट ऑफ थ्री थाउजेंड फाइव हंड्रेड इंश्योरेंस कंपनी इज री एम्बर्सिंग एटीन हंड्रेड रुपीज सो यू हैव टू सब्ट्रैक्ट एटीन हंड्रेड एंड यू विल गेट द आंसर इज वन थाउजेंड सेवन हंड्रेड क्लियर सो दिस इज हाउ वी डू द क्वेश्चन सो इट वॉज लुकिंग लाइक अ वेरी सिंपल क्वेश्चन वी ऑल सॉल्व इट वी ऑल डिड वॉट वी वर टॉट एंड वी गॉट द रॉन्ग आंसर सो दिस इज वॉट हैपन्स ओके सो वेन यू सी अ वेरी सिंपल क्वेश्चन विद अ वेरी सिंपल डेटा यू हैव टू यू नो री थिंक वॉट इज द कैच इन द क्वेश्चन एंड यू हैव टू सॉल्व इट अकॉर्डिंगली सो ऑल ऑफ यू क्लियर सिक्सटीन हंड्रेड रुपीज इज देर एनी कैलकुलेशन मिस्टेक Mm, I don't think so. Can anyone confirm? The answer is seventeen hundred only. Yes, correct. So, forty-five minutes over. Today we are right on time. Now we will be solving the doubts of the people who have asked it in the. Okay, this time I am keeping it because you will be getting this PPT. Now this time you will get it with the answers. Okay, so that the one question which went wrong, you will have a relook at that question, right? So let's go to the query section. Today we have got lot of queries. Let's start solving it one by one. What are the rates for electric vehicles? What basis of calculation of IDV on parts and excess, etc. Okay. so for electric vehicles uh, what we are following is the normal private car guideline the private car and commercial guideline only the tp rates i will show you the categorizations so that you will understand how it is categorized right so this is the iida circular for tp rates it is available on iida website i will directly go to the electric vehicle so you can see electric vehicles are categorized into three categories one is vehicles not exceeding 30 kilowatt okay the smaller vehicles vehicles exceeding 30 kilowatt and not exceeding 65 kilowatt okay and the last categorization is vehicle exceeding 65 kilowatt so this is the third party premium for these vehicles given by irda in two wheelers the categorization is like 3 kilowatt 3 to 7 and 7 to 16 and exceeding 16 kv okay so the tp rates are fixed by irda and the od rates are de tariffed each company apply its own logic to calculate the od rates so most of the companies what they are doing is they uh, just to give you an example this less than 30 kilowatt we are rating it for the vehicles 
in the private car which are less than 1000 cc let me go to the top of this so that you can relate so private car categorization is not exceeding 1000 cc exceeding 1000 and 1500 and exceeding 1500 so 30 kilowatt to let me check if i can write on this sheet no the pen is not working on this so less than 30 kilowatt will be in this slab 1000 to 1500 will be the od rating i'm talking about will be in this slab and more than 1500 will be for more than 65 kv so this is the broad overview okay you can check your company circulars to see what are the ot ratings and for tp you can refer this irda circular of third party rates it is available on irda website you can google it and you will find the circular okay this is the irda website you will find the circular on this you just write come and write the tp rates and you will get the get the circular okay so one question done next is can you share some details norms regarding in electric vehicles okay same question i hope i have answered this the latest trends in the market these days yes everything is as per the existing process i told you how to relate it with the existing tariffs available next question is if tire and wheel only are damaged whether the claim is payable or not please enlighten us about the loss in case of accessories okay let me zoom it so that you all can also see if tire and wheel only damaged whether the claim is payable or not okay if you remember in the second session we discussed if it's a private car and if the complete wheel is stolen yes those losses are payable but if you are asking it specifically about a cv commercial vehicle these things are not covered okay just stealing the wheel partial loss claims partial loss theft claims are not payable in cv as well as the motorcycle a complete theft suppose if these parts are stolen along with the complete vehicle yes it is covered only uh, theft of these small parts accessories parts or tires and tubes are not covered even the batteries of the commercial vehicles are stolen many times so we do not cover the standalone theft of the batteries okay next is what is the difference between the private driving license and anti-license aren't both same okay see private driving license uh, anti-driving license NT is a category okay NT is used generally for non-transport vehicles so a uh, anti license can be a private car license or it can be a two wheeler license also okay so i can write motorcycle with gear nt and i can write private car nt both stands for non-transport vehicle yes you are correct and t stands for transport so the transport vehicle category is different whether the age of the vehicle may be in case of claims or determining the idv is taken from the date of registration or date of purchase okay so i will be answering this question in two ways one is from exam point of view and the other is practical from exam point of view what you need to see is the date of registration every calculation for depreciation starts from the date of registration because it is assumed that a person cannot take the vehicle out of the showroom unless it is registered with the rto now there is a rule right every dealer has to get the vehicle registered first and then only he can allow the owner to take the vehicle on the public road unless the vehicle is registered it is not allowed to take an out of the showroom so you apply the logic when the vehicle will touch the road then only the depreciation will start correct so for us it is very clear date of registration now going to the practical side of you when we deal in claims when we actually deal in the offices now this practice may vary company to company so do not take it as a thumb rule you will have to take the advices of your senior colleagues and the people working in the department since a very long time what we do ideally is if there is a very long gap between the res the purchase of the vehicle and the registration of the vehicle suppose the vehicle is manufactured in 2021 and the vehicle is sold today in 2023 okay already there are two years since the vehicle is lying in the workshop or a showroom and it is sold today so what we take is we take the proof of date of delivery of the vehicle when the delivery of the vehicle was taken we go for the gate pass and the delivery chalan of the vehicle we check 
when the delivery of the vehicle was taken and why it was not registered for for this much long time so this sometimes become a very impractical thing also because generally people get 7 days for registration in the same state and 30 days for registration in a different state right so ideally these kind of cases do not occur but yes in some cases it can happen but i advise you you leave this query till the exams and then you can discuss it we with, with me either one to one or you can discuss it with your colleagues who are working in the department so next question is in motor audi claims class 2 pick up and drop charges were excluded in more calculating motor audi claim payable in question okay so there is a doubt whether why are we not paying pick up and drop charges it is applicable in the claim or why are we we charge for the towing or we say that up to 1500 rupees in a private car we will pay the charges and only 400 rupees of pick up and drop were applied so we have to you know understand what are the towing charges towing charges are generally known in the policy as protection and removal cost okay so uh, towing is the easy word that we have started using uh, of late but the exact word is protection and removal cost now this type of charges triggers only when the vehicle is disabled in an accident disabled means suppose if it's a maruti swift or a honda city uh, it has met with an accident on the express way and the suspension of the vehicle has got damaged or the radiator of the vehicle has got damaged or the vehicle is so badly damaged that it cannot move on its own wheels or the suspension is damaged but driving on the own wheels will you know further aggregate the damage it is called the disabled vehicle or the handicapped vehicle so towing charges are payable only in cases when the vehicle requires to be towed on a different vehicle and it cannot move on its own to reach the nearest workshop now i cannot tow my vehicle from delhi to mumbai just because my friend has a workshop in mumbai right these charges are the charges which are paid from the spot of accident up to the nearest workshop okay so this is the reason we allow reasonable towing charges in the policy okay when it comes to the claim i hope i have answered your query so now next question is family pension is 30% or 50% i believe this question is from hr so i do not want to answer this question in the motor session motor section because i also need to check answering just on the based on my assumption will not be right but yes let me check the answer of this question with my colleague who are working in hr department and i will get back to you on this next is reciprocating entries again the question from ri i will i can get back to you on this question after getting the better clarity from the people who are working in ri or you can also get this two examples of underwriting year basis and accounting ri question passing for today overriding commission ri question passing for today engineering insurance issued on what basis accounting passing for today loss limit under xol again ri question passing this question for today either i will get back to you on this or ambitious baba probably the team of av will find a faculty on in ri and will they will get back to you on this next is a motor question whether one year lmv license required for transport vehicle yes to the best of my knowledge yes for issuing for getting a heavy transport vehicle one year of lmv license is required as far as i remember till the last 2019 guidelines it is required educational qualification required for transport vehicle i need to check it it is 8th pass to the best of my knowledge it will be really helpful if anyone can confirm in the chat box whether it is 8th pass or 10th pass and for hazardous goods driver also i need to check the qualification it is either 8th pass or 10th pass age limit to apply for transport license i feel it is it still it 20 years and is there any changes amendment for dl after 2019 mv act no to the best of my knowledge there are no changes after 2019 mv act is it possible to share the latest question paper for scale 1 to 2 promotion i believe no it is not possible but i think ab team has released a video on the youtube which is covering most of the last year questions at least the memory based questions are there in that video i have seen it myself 
for the exam which happened last year so you can go through that video and you will have a fair idea of how the questions are framed so one answer from shatranjali in the chat box is 10th pass okay for commercial we commercial license qualification is 10th pass certainly i will uh, try to you know look for the exact circular and produce it in front of you in the next session next question is a person having two cars taken compulsory pa cover under one of the policies he met with an accident in a vehicle which of the above pa cover is not top for which acha he was driving a different car in which the pa was not outed so you are asking whether the pa claim is payable or not see uh there are different interpretations to this question so i will tell you what my interpretation is it may or may not be correct so again i will have you will have to check this with your specific employer so what my understanding says if you have taken pa on one vehicle you while taking the insurance say own damage insurance for car number 2 you can declare i already have a 15 lakhs ka pa so i don't need a pa for this and if you die in an accident in the car to if a person die in an accident in the car to he will be eligible for the person accident cover because it is a assured policy benefit policy right he has taken it at least for one vehicle the guideline says you have to take it at least on the one vehicle getting more into it nowadays there is a stand alone pa policy available stand alone cpa we call it stand alone compulsory personal accident cover in that policy you can mention all the vehicles that you are having you are taking example of two vehicles suppose if i have 10 vehicles five cars and five two wheelers so i will not you know i cannot buy 10 policies of pa it probably will not be allowed from the insurance point of view also okay considering our salary everything it may not be allowed also so i can take a stand alone cpa policy and i can mention the vehicle num all the vehicle numbers okay so that cover will be active on all the 10 vehicles so if suppose god forbid if someone dies in any of the vehicle in an accident the claim can be triggered right i hope i have answered your question next is private car 2010 model policy renewed for 6 lakhs okay in 11 accident date is 31st july 2011 repair cost is 5 lakh insurers maximum liability okay so this question we will be covering in the next video for uh, i don't want to you know leave it unanswered so let me answer it for you 5 lakh rupees is the repair cost okay you have to check whether 5 lakh is exceeding 75% of 6 lakhs or not so what my mathematics says 6 lakhs ka 75% will be 4.5 lakhs sare 4 lakh now the repair cost is 5 lakhs which is exceeding 75% so the vehicle will be declared as a constructive total loss so insurers maximum liability will be let me write it down here itself so that you will be able to read it maximum insurers liability will be idv less salvage value or rack value less excess okay considering there is no salvage value the answer will be idv 6 lakhs rupees minus excess 1000 rupees okay so answer will be 5 lakh 99000 rupees if there is any salvage you reduce it from 5 lakh 99000 clear i hope i have answered your question so this is my answer next is what is the minimum policy premium in motor what is the maximum ncb allowed in motor okay so there are lot of questions let me have a look what is the minimum premium policy i will you know i know the answer to this question but i want some of you to answer it in the chat box what is the minimum policy premium in motor please answer in motor minimum policy period premium sorry minimum policy premium not able to see even a single answer yes 100 correct so the minimum policy premium in motor is 100 rupees good 
नेक्स्ट क्वेश्चन वॉट इज द मैक्सिमम एन सी बी अलाउड इन मोटर पॉलिसी मैक्सिमम एन सी बी अलाउड इन मोटर पॉलिसी So some of you are answering minimum premium is twenty five. Okay, for which class of vehicle? Twenty five, sixty five. See, if you are answering the questions, you write please write premium hundred, NCB this much. So I will be able to make out. Okay, maximum NCB sixty five percent. Tricky question. Suppose if the examiner gives you what is the maximum NCB allowed today, so answer will be fifty percent. Or if the examiner puts throws a question like this, what was the maximum NCB percentage? If it asks about the past, the answer is sixty-five percent. The clause is known as sunset clause. Period can also be asked, so you will have to check. I think it is first July two thousand two to thirty thirtieth June two thousand three. To the best of my knowledge, please have a check. So it is known as sunset clause. Important from examination point of view. Next question is whether the policy is void or voidable in case of non-disclosure of material facts. Yes, the policy is void or voidable in case of non-disclosure of material facts. Okay, you are asking void or voidable. Policy is void or voidable. Can anyone help me with this? Interesting question. the policy in case of a wrong declaration of material facts the policy is i think the answer should be void but i am not sure about it i will retouch this question in the next session i will have to go through the declaration which is pasted in the proposal form last question whether dl and tp insurance compulsory whether driving license and third party insurance compulsory or not for two wheeler less than 35 cc okay whether dl and third party insurance compulsory for vehicles less than 35 cc i think it is the latest amendment which says that the dl is required even for the vehicles which are less than 35 cc i again need help of someone okay so most of you are saying voidable voidable you can go with the people who are answering in the chat box but yes i will also look for it and i will try to reproduce it on the on the screen in the next session and the last question dl and tp insurance compulsory yes earlier it was not i think it is applicable to the e rickshaws which are there in delhi and uh, I mean, like many accidents were happening for even the vehicles which are less than 35 cc and so you, yes to the best of my knowledge it is compulsory but again i will have to have a relook very interesting questions from devender sir okay so i believe i have answered all your questions and uh, we have exceeded the time by 5 minutes but i am happy that you all are you know interested in the subject and trying to participate it gives me a good feeling of what i am doing and uh, because i cannot see you all i can only read in the chat box and i can see okay i am talking to human beings and not to the machines so thank you everyone and uh, i hope you will be posting more questions in the excel sheet and we will you know make this subject uh, brick by brick a very strong contender for the examinations which are coming so all the very best and thank you so much bye bye